Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're doing another edition of Bite Sized Reviews. If you haven't seen this series before, essentially this is my way of working through all of the samples that I have in my collection, and this is heavily based off of LS and her series that she's done on her channel called Sample Sundays. It is currently pouring outside, so I'm sorry if you guys can hear the rain. It's it actually it's been raining like all day. I'm, a, I'm starting to get like a little bit worried. <laughs> So we're going to go through all the samples that I picked in the last episode. If you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. And then I will go through my basket and pick out a bunch of new samples to try out. I am trying to pit this series up every two weeks on my channel just to work through my big basket of samples. Don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like this series. And if you have it and you'd like to, I really hope you will consider subscribing so you're notified whenever I post a new video every single Monday through Friday. So I am feeling very green today. On my lips today, I have one of the new Jeffree Star lipsticks. This is in the shade Karma from the new collection. And on my eyes, I'm currently wearing a combination of two new green palettes. I have the Tribe palette from Juvia's Place and the Smoke Obsessions palette from uh, Melt Cosmetics. So I have a couple shades mixed in from each of these and I like it. I am working. I know I've had a bunch of requests to do a favorite green shadows, favorite green looks video, and I'm working on it. There have just been so many great new green palettes coming out that I'm so excited about that I just, ah, I need to dig into those and make sure I'm giving them proper justice in that video. The first samples that I tried out were both foundations, and I ended up mixing them together because the shades were a, a bit off. The first one is the Giorgio Armani Power or Power Fabric Longwear High Cover Foundation, and this was in a very dark shade, so I ended up mixing it today with two shades from the Milk Foundation, and this is the Milk Makeup Sunshine Skin Tint, and I had the two lightest shades in this packet. I don't think they have the actual shade names on here, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh no, no, they do. So it's light and fair. So I mix the shades light and fair with the Armani Foundation, and that's what I'm wearing on my skin today. I really wanted to try out the milk by itself, but there really wasn't enough. Like, even mixing these two packets together, I didn't have enough for a full application. So these samples really are just for shade matching, they're not for actually testing out, which is a bit unfortunate, but together with the Armani, I was pleasantly surprised. It just sits so well on my skin. Of course, the shade is going to be an issue because it's a sample. It's not actually matched to you. But I did test out this Arm Armani foundation before, and I really liked it other than the shade. So this just makes me, you know, it just doubles down on my curiosity and lets me know this is definitely one to try when I'm in the market for a higher-end foundation. But uh, I got a lot of foundation right now and I'm trying to keep myself from buying more foundation so I'm trying to look at this more as a I got a use out of this than a maybe I should go and buy this kind of thing you know same with the milk makeup one I was able to use this together and get a use out of it do I need to go out and buy it right away no but is it on my radar yes that being said I still have the two darker shades from the milk makeup one I might try to mix that in with my foundation tomorrow just because I know these two together aren't gonna be a full use the next product that I tried out was from Olay, and this was the Olay Fresh Effects Clear Skin Swirled Mattifier Redness and Pore Reducing Primer. There's, this had a lot of claims to it. I didn't really see my redness calm down a whole lot. It did blur my pores a little bit, not as much as my e.l.f. primer that I've been really enjoying. It felt, if this felt more like a moisturizer and not a primer. I know there's a very slim difference in the two, but... For me, there's a difference, and this felt more like what I would put on, you know, after the shower, after I did my skincare, and not what I would put on under makeup. That being said, I only got one use out of this, and I didn't really see anything too great or too horrible with my foundation that day. Eh. So this is, again, one of those things where it's like, hey, I got a use out of it. Now I know Olay is actually trying to jump in and, like, make primers and stuff, and I'm aware of it. Oh my god, the next product I tried out, I absolutely hated this was a sample from Pixie, and it was their double cleanse, so I had the two steps from their double cleanse in here as a sample from Target. I don't know if I just didn't have enough product in here to work a full time, but I took the entire glop out and tried using it like I would use my Clinique take the day off. Oh my god, it just pushed the makeup around. Nothing came off, it just moved around, and I felt so dirty, and 
my skin felt so bad. I had to go in with a makeup wipe and actually take everything off. I didn't, even when I wiped it in and then tried to use water to cleanse it off, nothing was coming off. So either I didn't have enough product for it to actually work, or I just wear too much makeup for that kind of cleanser from Pixi to work. Either way, I'm not interested in that product anymore. I, I had such a ugh, like experience with it. I don't want to touch it. Not even the 10 foot pole. The next product that I tried out was one that I already knew I liked. So this is another example of just getting use out of a sample. And this is the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I will say, these primer potion things are an awesome size sample because this is the original envelope. You get two of these little bubbles. I used up one. I have the other one still in my primer drawer. This was a good four full uses out of this little bubble. And this is like one of the free samples you get from Sephora. So together, that is like over a week's worth of high-end eyeshadow primer. That's an awesome deal. And I really do like this eyeshadow primer. You don't have to drop big money on a good primer because Milani has an amazing one and it works, literally works just the same. I just like, if you have the opportunity to get a free sample of it, get it. But literally like the Milani one does the same thing. Okay, and the last product that I picked out, I talked major trash about this in a weekly wow. And then I tried it and I ended up falling in love with it. This is the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara. I am so shocked. <laughs> uh, so the brush, let's talk about the brush on this first. This is such a great design. It tapers up into the middle. So, you know, it's smaller when you get here into the middle and it's big and fluffy. So it gives you kind of that natural cat eye look already. This formula, I'm wearing it today and nothing else, makes me look like I'm wearing falsies when I'm not. There was a dramatic difference when I put this on, like, dramatic. Shocking. <laughs> and it's just a mascara. Oh, I don't know what it is in the formula or in the brush or if it's just everything together that works so well. I love this mascara. And I have this bad habit of, like, falling in love with expensive things that I don't need. <laughs> because I have great drugstore alternatives. Like this basically does the same thing that the Essence Mascara does. But I'm just shocked because I, I, maybe I'm shocked because I didn't expect anything from this. But I did talk major trash about it in a weekly while and I'm like, eh, it's, it's, it's gimmicky, it's this, it's that. And it ended up performing very well. I need to do a video about that. Like whatever I talk trash about in a weekly wow that I try and end up really liking because there've been a few products so far. <laughs> There have been a few. And dun dun da I feel like every week this keeps growing. Like, of course. So I still have more products in here. Let's pick out a bunch of new samples. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh, I'm gonna drop everything again. We picked out five. I'll pick out a couple more, but let's go through these first. This is the Pore Professional Pore Primer from Benefit. I really don't know how much is in this little bubble. It's like a flat little thing. Um, but I have tried this, pr this primer out before. I do like it, but I think it is way too overpriced. Way too overpriced for what it is. But I will try this sample out. I haven't actually tried the primer again in a long time because I've been liking a lot of drugstore pore primers. So it'll be interesting to go back to that one. This is from Smashbox. So this is a sample of the Studio Skin 15 Hour Hydrating Foundation. And we get three shades. We have 1.1, 3.1, and 4.3. From the size of these bubbles, I don't think I'm going to get a whole lot out of here. So this is, again, going to be one of those like once watch kind of deals. So if anything, I can figure out which one is closest to me. Something tells me it's going to be 1.1. And then you also get a little bubble here of the primer. Um, again, I don't know how much I'm actually going to get out of this. So we'll see. Ooh, next I got a mask from Tata Harper. This is the resurfacing mask for instant glow. Now I've heard of Tata Harper. I think it's a fancy brand, but honestly I have no further knowledge. I need to educate myself. But it looks very cute and I'm, I'm definitely one for masks. I love masks. Can't wait to try that one out. What is it with me and picking out Armani foundations? Do, how many Armani foundations do I have in here? <laughs> This is the Face Fabric Second Skin Makeup. Now this one, I don't think I've tried out before. This looks a little bit different. So we have two shades here. We have shade two and we have shade 5.5. I think shade two is very close to my skin tone. So we'll see about that. I really don't know how many foundations Armani has. I'll have to find out, but I feel like, <laughs> is it a, a bite-sized reviews if I don't get an Armani foundation sample? 
Oh, ooh, this one's interesting. Okay, so this is from Lancome, and this... Oh, and I just dropped it. This is the Lancome Tint Idol Ultra Wear Full Coverage Foundation up to 24 hour staying power. And these bubbles actually look promising. So you get four shades. You get shade 110 Ivory, 220 Buff, 260 Bisque, and 320 Bisque. Oh, so 320 is Bisque Warm, and 260 is Bisque Neutral. So I, looking at these, I'm probably somewhere between 220 and 260 around there but these bubbles are promising it looks like an actual like usable amount of product i have not tried this foundation before i am very curious and we will see what happens let's pick a couple more i've got so many samples i feel like i should if i'm doing this more often i've simply got a couple more samples right one two three Okay, I picked three more, so that should be good. The next one is from Algenist. This is the Complete Eye Renewal Balm. So I think this is and just a regular eye cream. Yeah, well, we'll see. Eye creams, I think they're a bit overpriced, and I really don't think you need a separate eye cream, especially if you're at my age. I'm 25. I feel like while I do have some fine lines, I don't think a heavy eye cream is what I need right now, but I'll try it out. Next, I have the Kale and Spinach Green Tea Hyaluronic Acid Age Prevention Moisture Cream. Whew, long name. From Youth to the People. So it's just a, a moisturizer. I wonder if it smells like kale. That'd be interesting, but I feel like it matches the makeup today cute and last but not least we have a glam glow mask it also matches the look am i just picking green things like how many green things did i pick out today <laughs> uh so this is the glam glow power mud dual cleanse treatment i think i've tried like one sample of glam glow before but i can't remember so maybe i didn't interested to try it out i've heard very good things and i've heard very blah things about glam glow so we'll see so that is it for this fortnights. Can I say fortnight and actually refer to the, the two week span and not the game? Thank you so much for watching. Hope if you like this series, you'll give it a thumbs up and I cannot wait to see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye.